Oh, the projects never end at Ice Age TV. Yes, this is Ice Age TV. And what am I doing now? What am I doing now? You know, I got so many motorcycles and cars and trucks. And I think I'm going to get motivated, finally, to put some accessories on my Honda Talon, the Jackson Turbo Special. Yes, I got all these accessories for my Honda Talon that I bought months and months ago. I'm finally get motivated to move the Gold Rush out of the garage. But I got a project. I got to move the TRX out of the way. I got to use move the Plum Crazy out of the way so I can get the Honda Talon. Right there it is. She's turbo, and I'm going to bring her a shop, and I'm going to show you how to put some accessories on that right here where the Gold Rush is. So stay tuned for another how-to video on Ice Age TV. Okay, it's time to get the shop cleaned out and ready for the Jackson Racing Talon. But we're going to make some noise first. Which is louder? Is this louder? Or is that louder? Let's listen to this car start up. Check it out with the tailgate down. Yeah, well, I think the Hellcat Gold Rush wins on that one. But wow. Yeah, time to start moving things around. We've got to move the shop around so I can get the racing, the Jackson Racing Talent Turbo in the shop. Oh, just projects. As we shuffle everything around, now let's just do this thing start up. Yeah, watch. Watch me start it. Wow. Wow, what's going on, right? I mean, sincerely, let's start her up. Well, yeah, I know. Isn't it just so loud? Look, listen to it. Oh, that's right. This thing's a battery. This is a battery-operated vehicle. Wow. No wonder it doesn't make any noise. Okay, well, there you go for the F-150 Lightning Adventure. Okay. Now let's start up the official Honda Talon with the Jackson Racing Turbo on it. Haven't been in this thing in a while. When's the last time I even drove this thing? I can't remember. No, get out. No, no. Everyone's to get in this thing and you can't get in. No. I'm just moving a few feet. No, no. Get away. All the, no, no, get away from me. Get away. You can't ride this thing. Yeah, so that's it. The dogs will make more noise than this will. It's going to take forever. To start it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, last time I drove this, I flipped it. Ever remember that? Ever remember that adventure? Get it high here. Try not to hit the uh, camera. They're all going nuts. Going to back her into the garage. Got too many vehicles. It's always cramped. I'm gonna put some rearview mirrors on this thing so I know how to back this thing up. I'm trying to get this thing set where it's gonna be a car in front of me. The dogs are driving nuts. I'm gonna take out the garage. Yeah, I know. Lights. Get my Corvette. That wouldn't be good. It's all out of control here. Okay, she's in the garage, and if you watch my video, when I flipped it, I indented this part here, which probably could maybe pound that out. Um, yeah, see here, I did a little damage to the fender, and scuffed it up a little bit. Look at the bar. Yeah. Look at the roof. That's what happens when you go play with these things. I'm surprised you didn't break this, to be honest with you. And uh, where else did it get stuffed up here so mainly in the back so but hey if you go play you pay look at that big old spider web so here's all my accessories that i'm going to work on i'm going to get the uh the rear side mirrors got a rear view mirror got some uh i got a windshield for it i've got a rear back pack for it literally a rear uh trunk area carry bags so uh you know, cleaned up a little bit, 
and then I'm going to clean up my bench a little bit here so I have a little more working area. And then I'll just kind of show you what I'm doing here on another adventurous how-to video with the Honda Talon 1000R. I'm so tempted to clean this thing up for I work on it, but I just pushed this out a little bit. Believe it or not, you probably got a really good heat gun, which I do, and I was really careful. I could probably pull this out a little bit more. But here, I think I'm gonna get myself some good sandpaper, and I'm gonna paint this, because I don't like how it's starting to rust. But to keep it simple right now, I think I'm gonna do the, uh, the rear view mirrors, which have the Honda Talon side mirrors right here. So let's check out on how easy or hard this is. And I've had this type of stuff before my other talons. A lot of stuff just doesn't really work out the way you think it should. Well, well, well. My gut instinct tells me that I'm going to be doing double work. What I mean by that, I think I'd be smarter to put the windshield on before I start putting the side rear view mirrors or the rear view mirrors because I just have this gut inclination that the windshield position will be like, well, you shouldn't have mounted it that way. So I think I'm going to be forced to take on the windshield project, which I think that's going to be a project. So let me see how motivated I get for that. Well, wow. I don't even know what the hell I have here, to be honest with you. So I got the uh, Talon half cargo box. Then I guess I got the insulation kit for it. I don't even know what that is. And Talon four mats. Uh, I think this is the front wheel sh one shield. I don't know. Did I get a rear one as well? I can't remember anybody. It's pretty bad, isn't it? So I'm going to start cutting open the boxes and see what I got here. Pretty bad, huh? Yeah, I hear you. Now, one thing you learn when you're working your shop lot is having like a tool bench to work out of really makes a big difference. Now, I've got my truck here. But you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to go over here to my... Uh, my gator, I think my gator would probably be the better choice to bring into the shop and use that as my little work tool bench and work out of that. I can back in the shop and then the back bed area can be my little area to put all the stuff in to try to work that windshield. But this hasn't been started in a while. Let's see how this all plays out and all the dogs will go nuts. And what key does it take? I got so many sets of keys. And uh, I just can't keep track of everything. And everybody wants to go for a ride. Everybody wants to go for a ride. Everybody go nuts. Yeah, see here? It's not easy. Not easy being me. See here? You got the whole gang wanting to come hang out. Yeah, As we. You want to chase? You just want to chase the. Uh, the vehicle. Come on, what's going on here? Oh, it's in park. I can't remember where to put this in here, man. Yeah, it's about to drive you nuts. Yeah, it should. There's a pool full of the brim. All that water. advice sitting there for months. Alright, let's back her in. Falls. Oh, you guys 
such a goof. All right, all right, that's it, that's it. All right, so now, put down the tailgate, and I got myself my own little workstation. I think I'm gonna turn my overhead light on. All right, so voila. You know what, this is the back window. So, we really want to do the front window first, but, big butt here, <laughs> yeah, big butt. So, I think we're gonna do the back one first, and I set the box open, and good thing I didn't put the rear cargo box in, because I need to get back there to work around that area. Now, for some people will be like, why would you put a rear window in this thing? Well, tell you what, when you get really going along, especially in dusty conditions, even grasses, debris, they work their way in. They work your way into the interior. Especially once you put a windshield in front of this vehicle, it creates a vacuum where all this stuff is coming inside. So how do we know? Because well, I've owned, this is my third Honda Talon I've owned. And I've had the fully enclosed one, and I've had the non-enclosed one like this. And so that's why I bought this, because I already know if you really do get serious about going somewhere and driving these things, the uh, back end can get really be bad. So, but this time around, I didn't use the Honda uh, accessories. My good friend Mike out there at Timber Honda, he really pushed the Super ATV product being really good quality engineering and far less money. So I saved a lot of money by going to the Super ATV, and that's the same thing over here the front windshield because the Honda stuff is very expensive. So let's see how it plays out. And I gotta get rid of the spider's web right here. One thing I'm gonna do is lay this black rubber out that's gonna be the seal for the glass out in the heat so it's just easier to work with. That's what I'm gonna do. The wife's back home, back in the shop. Got the gator in the shop. Got the talent in the shop. Got the dogs in the shop. Project in the shop. Get the tools going and uh, check out where all these um, clamps are going. So what's interesting is the assumptions are, I would think you put the clamps in first or do you? I don't know. I have to read this. Okay, so just figure out which way this back um, window goes. Is actually a little complicated, so I wanted to make sure I put this in the correct way before I put the brackets in. And uh, so that was a little bit of a project. Gotta have my ladder here to get up in there. And now it's time to really, you should put everything together before you have it in there, which that's what I'm gonna do next. But now I know it fits properly. And don't take off that protective film till you're done. You regret that big time. So I'm gonna put the brackets on, put the weather stripping around it and then come back and do this again. All right, well thank goodness antennas are like magnetized and they come off really easy to be able to do this. Because you can just slide this window through here, this area to put it in. So this is crucial to be able to move, move that. Now, what I'm doing is, this is how the back windshield will go against, or the back window will go against the unit. And the instructions are kind of backwards in my view because they're showing the really <laughs> the inside this would really be the inside of the vehicle so you gotta be careful kind of how you look at these instructions you put these brackets on backwards so you just keep that in mind when you're putting even for me i'm questioning right now even from what i'm doing will that be correct <laughs> yeah i flipped the uh, back window over to follow these instructions. You can see how this kind of bulbs, it comes back toward us, that's what it is. And you can see the brackets, how they're coming toward me. Then that bracket goes away from you because the way that lines up inside, that attaches to the uh, top of the roof of the uh, machine, you need that to be that way because it's behind it and the outside of the windshield. So this is now, this is the inside of the machine. You would be putting your hand on this for sitting in the seat. So you'd be looking through the other way. So now I've got my good tools. And as always, it's probably metric. It's a, 14, a four millimeter Allen and a number 10 um, nut.
And I'm gonna lose I'm gonna leave all this loose. I'm not gonna tighten this down yet because my gut instinct is once you put this inside here, you need wiggle room, and then once I feel it's secure, I'll tighten it down. But now we can put the rubber gasket around this. They recommend you soak that um, rubber seal in soapy water to uh, put it on, which probably isn't a bad idea, hot, soapy water. I may resort to that, and uh, I kind of like that idea, actually. So let's get this out here and see what we can do. Oh boy, this is a project. I feel like now I'm a leather man or I'm a upholstery person. Putting this weather stripping on this is very tedious, a lot of work. I mean, a lot of work. I'm not doing the soap and water just because I feel like you get too slippery and out of control. But I'm getting there, but it's a lot of work. Wow, skirt man. Wow, that that's a project. I mean that now if you don't have strong hands <laughs> and patience this is very challenging to put this rubber seal on i got her but at the same time wow i mean just wow Woo. okay i'm gonna take out this allen out of that bracket right there just so you know and it looks to be a five millimeter i think it is Let's see what it says. You got five millimeter. And you're gonna put it back. You're gonna use that bracket to secure that windshield down with this new bolt. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put this now in the machine. And I'm not tightening anything down yet until I get everything secure. That's my goal. So don't have two hands to show you, but you just slide it between here. And then it'll go in, but we'll see how right about that. <laughs> oh, it's always the challenge of being smarter than the thing you work on. Now, one thing they do recommend is you don't use a power tool. You really crank this thing, you're going to break that plexiglass. So be very careful if you use it. Don't go too tight. But how do I now tighten this? And since I have a roof on this thing, I need a helper or I could tape my wrench onto that. It'll probably accomplish the same thing. Maybe I'll do that. Good deal, Schmeel. All right, so use some painter's tape and it'll hold your wrench up so you don't have to call anybody else to help you out there. Painter's tape's great stuff. So there you go. So I'm going to peel off all of the uh, film off of it, and I think we're good on the back end. Wow, shebang, shabam, she's done. Look at that. Hey, looks like a professional guy installed it, doesn't it? Got some smudges on it, but I do need to still put the bracket on. So before we finish up, I'll show you that as well. It's like a Velcro type of bracket. Wow, that's pretty neat. I like this. This is a really good idea. It's a Velcro type of strap. And really simple on how to put it on. It really does pull that rear window in. So he's going to take this out of this loop here. You can see what I'm doing here? Probably not. There's one hand in it. But we're going to put this like this here. And we're going to take this and come through here. If I can do it one handed, it'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? If we come through here, then we're going to bring it through. If I can get it through. Oh, I had it. Had it one handed. And so now you bring this through and then you come through this loop and loop back out of it. So now, I've looped it through, I'm gonna come back through again, and kind of position this a little better, and I really need two hands, but you see here, then you just strap it there like that, and that's now really done a good job, so I'm gonna pull it a little tighter with my two hands. And there you go, she's done. Now, I'm gonna paint this, but it's cool, this just unvelcros right off. This is very easy, as far as taking it out, I can guarantee you will be easier than putting it in. But I don't know why I would do that. But now I got a really good back area here for any debris that comes flying up. It's not going to get into the cockpit of this vehicle. And for those out there that don't know about the Jackson Racing Turbo, if I can get it out here with one hand, I can. And there's the Jackson Racing Turbo that uh, makes this thing really 
wicked fast. It is so much fun. This is the baddest ass talent I've had to date. And even though I had a bigger one, it was all lifted, bigger tires, enclosed, it had a winch on it. It was just too much. I, I enjoy this much more, and I love the color of it too. All right, that's it. That's it for the uh, rear uh, window. And so, see here, look at this here. It's so cool. This just slides down on this here. Something like that. Oh, I got to pull up on it. So, I got to do that. Okay. I'm going to wrap this one video up. Now, do I get motivated to do the front windshield? Oh, my gosh. How much of a project is that? I don't know. That was not i mean it wasn't bad it's just putting that weather stripping on um somebody out there may be more on the page that you do one day you just put the weather stripping on another day you put it together all right everybody watching ice hcb and we kind of got off course from being the mirrors but then i get to thinking you know what let me first put the windshield in and the rear window in then put in the mirrors because it just i just have done it too many times kind of taking things apart so there it is. Hope everybody enjoys the video on the Honda Talon 2024. Is this 2024? I can't even remember, everybody. I think it is. And I uh, got my uh, floor mats for it. Got my nice Talon storage cover. Maybe I'll do the rear tank uh, box. I don't even know. It's like right there. I think that's the two piece windshield kit. I can't even remember. Wow. All right. Hey everybody, thanks for watching ICHTV. Stay tuned for more adventures and more how-tos. God bless.